Alright guys, um, <laughs> Pete was in a bit of a fluster this morning because he was going to run to the bank and then drop off a senior portrait at the school. And we'd been driving the black car since the snowstorm, lovely and cleaned off. His parents' truck, the windshield is full of ice and it was taking him too long and he was starting to panic. So he said, can I take the black car or are you going anywhere? And I said, well, I am. <coughs> I'm going to be in and out all day, but take it. He forgot to tell me that the little blue car windscreen was full of ice. So it's a good job I left the house early. My point was at 10. It's now 5 to 10. I uh, just spent the last 15 minutes because I wanted to go somewhere before Dale's. Um, ice this thick, trying to get it off the windscreen and off the bonnet. I'm going to go now and have my nails done. I can see through most of the window. But you can see even on this one, the windscreen, the wiper is still full of ice. But look how pretty it looks. It's cold though. It's 28 degrees. Um, and of course, I didn't bring gloves because I'm going to nails. Good job I didn't lose a nail or two. But anyway, better go. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Everybody, it is 10 after 10 and I have not picked up the vlog since I left the house at 10 to 10 this morning. I had Katie here this afternoon when she left. What did I do when she left? I was doing something because I didn't come up here till about 7. And then I was talking to Pete about the yearbook. And then uh, Ashley made me some nachos for dinner which, just a little while ago. Just cheese and that. Nothing major. And I just threw some laundry in. <laughs> Why I started my laundry so late? Because I usually forget and put it in the dryer. And then I end up having to rewash it. But i got to remember to go down afterwards and put that in the dryer. So I just made myself a cup of tea. Uh, went and had my nails done, as you know, this morning. And she did a... I don't know if you can see it. Oh, focus. Little. She did a little candy cane on this one. She did a good job on it with a little bow on the bottom. She's been dying to do something with a bit of colour. And I usually just like the white and the silver. And then on this one she did a little wreath and it just has a little silver and then it has a silver bow on the bottom. So that's what she did today. There was a lady in there, I think she was English actually, talking about going away. She said she was leaving for Florida tonight. And I said, oh, are you just going for Christmas break? She goes, no, we go for two months. I was like, oh, enjoy. Um, we are actually due another snowstorm tomorrow of course Ashley has to leave her at seven in the morning and it's supposed to start snowing around seven in the morning so she'll be all right getting there it's just getting home I worry about because Pete's in the opposite direction altogether um <coughs> we're supposed to get two to four inches again um it's supposed to start like I said first thing in the morning and then in the afternoon it's supposed to clear up a bit and then at five o'clock there's um, supposedly a, sneck a sneck and <laughs> second snowstorm coming through. So we will see. Um, well, if it's snowing like crazy when she wakes up, she's going to have to call in because she and Pete actually admitted to me yesterday how bad the roads actually were on Saturday and I don't want her risking it. Pete and I are supposed to go shopping tomorrow night. Yeah, just a bit up and down today. Tomorrow's not a good day for me, memory-wise. But it's just the thought, the thought, the thoughts on my mind. Um, yes, yeah, tomorrow's the anniversary of my dad's death, so tomorrow is not a fun day. I know it's been a few years, but still, just you think about it and it's horrible. Anyway, guys, let's think of a question for you. To I'm still writing Christmas cards. I uh, only got to a few... Of I did a few, but I didn't get to too many. So tomorrow morning I will sit in the office and just do, finish those up so I can get them in the mail. I want to go buy my stamps and everything. So I don't need the snow tomorrow because I want to be able to go out and do what errands I have to get done. I have a few things I want to do. Wednesday night Pete's going to the school because he's going to go take pictures of the choir before the holiday concert. But I'm not going to go. I'm going to stay here and... Um, I think Ashley's on days for the next few days, like early days. So I don't know if she wants to go shopping one night. I know she and Pete are probably planning, I think they were planning on going Thursday night. But if I get bunked out tomorrow night because of the weather, then I'll just go with them and then we'll all just kind of go our separate ways and do what we've got to do. Um, because next week is Christmas. When I stopped over my mother-in-law's last night, we were going through what everyone was going to bring. 
um, which is great. Everyone brings something. I'll probably go shopping this weekend for the food and what have you that we need. So tomorrow I will make my list. Uh, my brother-in-law is having surgery on Wednesday. Um, he has carpal tunnel, so he's having the carpal tunnel surgery, which is probably a good time for him to have it because he's on furlough right now. Um, which, if you don't know what it is, I, don't, I never knew what it was. It's a mandatory vacation for six weeks or five weeks. Five weeks, I think he said. Uh, so it's a good time. His surgery, when I had mine done, I've got the scar from there to there. <laughs> Not here, but you know. Um, <coughs> I think he said they're doing the microscopic on him, which is much better. You don't end up with the scar because I've got all the cut tissue there, so that part is numb. Hopefully his is successful and he's pain free because he's been really suffering with it. I feel bad for him. In the last couple of years he's been hit with all sorts. He has MS. Um, he was diagnosed just over a year and a half ago, I think. Uh, he's doing really well. He's, you know, it's under control, but it's always on his mind. But, and ours. But, uh, yeah, and then he's got to go for this surgery. But he's the jokester of the family, he's the comedian, so I've just keep your fingers crossed that everything goes well on Wednesday for him. I think he's having it done in the afternoon. It's an in and out thing where he'll be home that night. But it's not fun. Any surgery is not fun, is it? Boy, aren't I just full of the joys of spring today. <laughs> but like I said, just get through tomorrow and then hopefully things I will start thinking happier thoughts. I'm going to sit down because I'm getting old. Um, so let's think of a question for you guys. Do you guys get dressed up for Christmas dinner? Did I ask this before? Or are you casual? Or do you stay in your pyjamas? I know some people stay in their pyjamas all day. Um, other people get really dressed up. Wear jeans or leggings and then a, I usually get some kind of sparkly top. But this was one Christmas. This is my dad and my nan. They came over to Germany, my nan and my grandfather, and my dad said, how do you want to dress for Christmas? And I said, I want you in your uniform. So that's what he did. He put his army uniform dress kit on, and my nan got all dolled up. My nan was always dressed up, though. She never wore trousers, that woman. She was always dressed up, makeup done, jewelry on. But yeah, that's dad. But anyway, guys, on that note, I hope everyone had a wonderful Monday, as much as your Monday can be wonderful. I hope it wasn't too bad for you. And uh, I will definitely touch base with you tomorrow. So have a great night, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.